Please subscribe to Bear 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 Nerd Fund. Smash the like button. Goodbye. Hail to all. Hail we do not need. Hail we do not. Hail to all. We do not. Hail to all. Now come on, Hollywood. Stop smelling your own farts. You might get mistaken for arse sniffers. <laughs> Remember, when you Remember go woke, you, you go broke. Go. Hail, Hail to fandom menace. Hail to all. Okay, now we're going to have a conversation. I've been thinking about Star Wars, the extended universe, how the story continued on after Return of the Jedi a few years later. And we had the Thrawn trilogy and we had a whole bunch of stories written uh, about Luke Skywalker and the new Jedi Academy and there's a whole bunch of things that we can talk about here yeah 25 percent so this here is the Sun Crusher it was in one of the um, Star Wars books that I read about and basically one of the one of the um, adolescent uh, Padawans somehow was influenced by one of the Dark Lords that was basically an imprisoned spirit there we'll go over to that here in a minute but the big thing is the Sun Crusher it could destroy suns make them go supernova and um, so so star killer base okay it had the capability of basically destroying almost all the planets in a system so you got a super weapon here and you got this story about someone stealing this so little plot devices in these stories that I think that Disney has been taken from the EU now we'll go over here this is the guy who stole he was influenced by one of the dark lords that was imprisoned his spirit was imprisoned it says what his name is in here. This is Kip Duran. Yeah. The Dark Lord Sith Exar Kun was one of the um, spirits, basically, that was influencing him. And um, so Kip Duran committed a whole bunch of atrocities and stuff like that now we're gonna go right here this is Jaina Sola I think they're basing Ray off of Jaina Solo and they changed her story around made her not related and um, this is what I think they've been using they've been taking ideas from here and there to reboot Star Wars and I heard um, Nerd Roddick say earlier that he's convinced that um, The Force Awakens was a soft reboot. Um, yeah, I'm pretty convinced of that too. I was already kind of thinking that and I've heard a lot of talk, you know, going on about what they're doing and what they're not doing. And what they're not doing is they're not giving us a good written story. There is no good storytelling going on in Star Wars. So, being they they haven't done their homework, they haven't read up on some of the past stories in the Star Wars movies, they didn't even check it out, it seems like, the way they're writing some of these movies. Now, this new character in the the uh, The Rise of Skywalker. I think they're basing this new character 
that is um, played by the actress that plays in um, The Americans. I can't remember her name at the moment. But I think they're basing her character loosely off of Mara Jade. It'll kind of confirm that if she ends up using a lightsaber as well. So there's that to think about. And the fact that they're bringing the Emperor back. Yeah. Those things we should, we should consider. So, we got Starkiller Base. Which is basically a huge, gigantic rehash of Death Star 1 and 2. From um, the, the episode uh, 4, 5, and 6. So they're going to be bringing in little pieces of nostalgia. I mean, if you read up this bio on Jaina Solo, you're going to find out that it closely matches Ray. Not too far off on that. So, nostalgia. Trying to hook us with nostalgia. And I read all these books. All of them were awesome. I'll leave links to these uh, to the Wikipedia, but this is. Um, I also heard that some of the stuff in um, Wondering Doomcock mentioned that the Star Trek wiki was contaminated, and one has to wonder: Is the Star Wars wiki Wikipedia? contaminated as well because of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Things to consider. Hail to the Phantom Menace. Well, hail to the Phantom Menace. Well, I found this little bit of information here. Fighter and Smuggler. The death of the Emperor and fall of the Empire left Mara alone and without resources. Hunted by former Imperials and losing some of her former Force abilities. Mara survived for several years by taking odd jobs under aliases and constantly moving from one planet to another. In 8 ABY, she joined a smuggling organization led by Talon Carity, quickly rising to a position of power. Mara's dominant Force abilities re-emerged after she encountered Luke Skywalker floating helplessly in space in a damaged X-Wing force to suppress her desire to kill Luke so Carity could collect a bounty. So, she was basically a smuggler and a bounty hunter. Let's keep that in mind. Let's remember that. So that's that little tidbit of information. Hail to the Phantom Menace. We'll be back in a moment. Well, how's everyone doing? So check this out. This here is Jaina Solo. So is this. See the eye color, the hair color. Her original lightsaber, yes, it was blue. In the EU, this is new Star Wars with Rey. Same body build, same facial features almost the same eye color. Jaina had um, greenish hazel colored eyes from what I've seen. Ray's got brown eyes but still same body type. And um, that's Jaina Solo. Let's go here. This is Carrie's um, character that's gonna be in the new Star Wars. Rises this rises rises Skywalker. This is Mara J. Do you see any similarities between these two? This is from the books, and this is going to this character Carrie Fisher will be in Star Wars.
Hail to the Phantom Menace. Well, we have here Darth Cadus, formerly Jason Solo. And then we have over here Ben Solo, otherwise known as Kylo Ren. Well, there was another character in um, the EU that was Luke Skywalker's son. He was named after Obi-Wan, called him Ben, Ben Solo. That was the original Ben. And that's where Disney Star Wars, as I'm calling New Star Wars, um, that's where they stole these characters from. Or rather, they stole from themselves, beings that they turned the EU into non-canon. Um, personally, I think it was calculated, and I think they did it on purpose. So, that's what I think. And it's my opinion, and we're just expressing opinions here. But you connect all the dots. It seems possible, don't you think? Anyway, hail to the fandom menace. Now come on, come Hollywood. On. Stop smelling your own farts. You might get mistaken for arse snippers. <laughs> Remember, when you go woke, you go broke. Please subscribe to Bear, 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 Nerd Fun. Smash the like button. Goodbye. Say hello. 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 Say hello. hello. Say nerd fun. 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 Say goodbye. 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 Hail, Hail to the Phantom Menace.